Hey ho audio, my name is Bob Mustang Killer Kale, and welcome to the video today, people. Whoo, oh, I am so excited. Uh, I am here with the Mace Windu Master Replicas Force FX lightsaber. Now, I know I said in my last review that it was going to bring the Ray Jedi training lightsaber to you guys, but um, I couldn't find that anywhere for a decent price to order, and it was very in demand that the movie was coming out and around the same time I couldn't pick it up. So I went ahead and I ordered this on eBay uh, from a seller in China who bought six of these before Master Replicas announced that they were losing the, the license. So he bought six Master Replicas lightsabers brand new and now he's reselling them for higher money to make, you know, make a profit, which is smart. Um, and I don't blame him because I got stuck. So this was listed as brand new. So we're going to find out when I open this up if it is in fact brand new, never opened, never touched, which would be great for me. Um, but I went ahead and decided to pick this this up first. The the Ray lightsaber is still coming. I'm still planning on getting that, but I decided I'm going to pick a couple of other ones up first before I get that one. Uh, but yes, this is the Master Replicas, not a Hasbro, Master Replicas Force FX lightsaber. And there's not really much of a difference between the two. Um, except the fact that I think Master... I don't know if they were releasing lightsabers at the same time or if Master Replicas lost the lightsabers and then Hasbro picked it up. But um, they don't sell these anymore. And I believe the retail value for these were listed around the same as the Hasbro, 120 to 140-ish. I picked this up for 240 so I picked it up for $100 more than the retail value. But I'm so excited to, to pick it up. I waited nearly a month for this. And it just came in the mail. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to pop this bad boy open. And we're going to see basically if this is a new lightsaber or not. So yeah, I waited waited a month for this thing. Oh, it's, it's in the original box. This is definitely a brand new lightsaber. It is in the original. It's It's got a Master Replicas box. But, uh... Um, yeah, like I said, I ordered this around Christmas, uh, around the same time as the uh, episode 8 came out, and waited a, a month, my grandma called me, I went, ran there and picked it up, and I am very, very, very excited for this lightsaber, you guys have no idea um, how excited I am for the Mace Windu lightsaber. So yeah, this has never been opened. This is an unboxing video. This is this is unboxing and a review. It's great. I am so excited. I do have a couple of other ones coming towards the way here. Let me get rid of this. <clears throat> All right. So this, I don't even know if I got this on chat or not, or uh, on chat on uh, cam. But that's the Master Replica's logo right there. So this is original box, and I believe somewhere it should say right here. Uh, description, Mace Force FX Episode 3. It says right there on the side. Can't really see because there's tape over it. But um, let's go ahead and we'll get this bad boy open. Alright, so this is it here. We have Star Wars Master Replicas Force FX Lightsaber Collectible. Uh, it's got the realistic metal hilts. Uh, authentic sound effects, glowing bright purple blade, and officially licensed. Not for long. We got a picture of it here. We got Mace Windu. I'm going to go over the box a little bit more in detail. I'm going to come grab the phone there. This is the first one. Looks a little different. So you got the Master Replicas logo there. Star Wars Force Effects. This is basically everything that I was reading before. Beautiful design. Oh, I just love this lightsaber. The box is not in bad condition either. It's originally sealed. So we got yeah, basically the same thing again here. And on the back and on the bottom of the lightsaber. Um, just goes into a little bit more details, 12 and up. So basically that's that. Uh, put this back over here. So... Like I said, there is no real difference between Master Replicas and Hasbro. Um, and I guess I, I'll kind of put them side by side. I just, 
I want to keep talking, not make this boring video, but I am so excited, you guys. So this is original. That's factory tape right there. There's this no way this thing was opened and and resealed, which is something I was afraid of if it was listed brand new. But yo, that is so beyond cool. Okay, so it is something that I was I was a little afraid of. Um, one one big difference between Master Replicas and Hasbro is the quality of the blade. So whatever Master Replicas uses their blades, like uses to make their blades, it kind of tints over age. And I'll show you guys that a little bit um, as we go on. But they do have way better stands than Hasbro, which I am actually planning on actually using this stand. Uh, we're gonna go over to it. It's got the instruction manual in here. Everything. Holy cow. Okay. Well, let's open this up first. So this is the bottom of the stand. Um, I'm actually planning on purchasing. These are the stand guards. Planning on purchasing a um, saber forge lightsaber. And oh wow, why did why did they? Like that's a, I don't know, okay. Um, planning on purchasing a Saber Forge lightsaber with the removable blade, and this is pretty much how I'm planning on displaying it. Is I'm going to be putting it. Basically, I have a little nightstand, and I'm going to be standing this little nightstand right over here, and I'll have a, a lightsaber sitting on it. So I think that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, we'll get more into the stand later. I just sat it over there for for video purposes. There's one. Two. Uh, these the master replicas definitely had better stands than the Hasbro, but I think Hasbro actually had these same stands at the time. Uh, I believe this lightsaber was released 2005. It'll tell me on the lightsaber. This is a beautiful lightsaber. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, let's first see what else was in here. This is just operating instructions. Um, interference will not occur particular installation. It's basically saying you know this isn't this isn't a dueling. Weapons. Master Replicas here. Wow. Lord of the Rings, other Disney products, Narnia. And on the back, shows you more um, Master Replicas lightsabers. Okay. So, uh, look at the stand. I have it built now. Um, it's basically, all, all it is, is a stand such as this. Um, and it could sit on the desk, but however, I do see that there's wall mounts. I was seeing a lot of people ooh, hang this over their closet and stuff, and then they rest the lightsaber on top of it, just like this, uh, which is a pretty cool lightsaber stand. But I'm like I said, I'm going to keep this over here by my desk, my nightstand stand, and when I get a removable lightsaber blade, that's basically where I'm going to be storing it, just right there, and it'll look really cool. Let's go ahead and we'll take this bad boy out. So this is the lightsaber. This lightsaber runs on six AA batteries. Uh, yeah, six AA batteries. And for a long time, I was like, man, this this lightsaber, is, I'm, I'm probably saying it right now, this lightsaber is going to be the heaviest lightsaber that I own um, due to the six batteries. But this is probably the only lightsaber that has six batteries in it. And that is a lot of batteries. Um, but I realized that there's, I could be wrong, there's no such thing as, as a purple LED light. Uh, this, this These lightsabers have string lights. And... Um, this lightsaber actually has two strands of lights, one red and one blue. So I have a feeling that three of the lightsabers that are in there are for the blue strand, and then the other three are for the red strand. So that's why there's six. That's just my theory on it. But, uh, all right, so we take that out. And we'll go ahead and I'll unwrap this. All right, well, that was very difficult. <laughs> um, I took all, all the, the film off, so it's a clean blade now. Um, so kind of just a comparison, I'll hold this up next to the Hasbro and you guys can easily see the difference in the blade color. And that's, that's exactly kind of what I was talking about is, is the, the film that they use in the master replicas lightsabers kind of turn a, a tannish and you can kind of see, I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's just a different color, uh, compared to all of them. But those are the rings where I'm going to hang it right underneath Yoda's and I'll show you guys kind of as we go on the collection series. This is the activation button. I don't think they're, 
Now see it was on this whole time. Oh, wow, it's kind of weird. Um, that's the activa activation button right there. Beautiful. Original stickers are on here. The pommel um, is very, very shiny. It's very shiny on the lightsaber. So this is the, the pommel side here. Uh, we have the, the belt clip. Um, I forgot what the that's called. And we got our um, grip section here. The grips kind of feel... They, they feel a little loose. Um, a little wobbly. Some of them more than others. Uh, I don't know if that's just... You know, they, they snap in or they slide in or something. That they're going to come out and be a problem and whatnot. But that's alright. Um, this is very rubbery here. We got rubber and then we got gold. That's very, very shiny. It's very reflective. You can see my, my reflection there. Uh, this is your ignition switch right here. And um, that's basically it. Uh, I kind of want to be careful taking off these stickers. Uh, try and do it real quick here. See see if I can. I'm not going to worry about it too much if I can't get them off. But we're going to go ahead and we'll unscrew it. We'll put the palm in and then we're going to go over the sounds. Um, I think the sounds are a little, little bit different. Oh, wow. That didn't even leave a mark. That's beautiful. All right. So we got a little, little mark there. Uh, I wonder if it's just from the sticker being on there too long. I'll see if I can get that off of some WD-40. But there's only two stickers, and they didn't leave a giant mark on there like the Hasbro did. So uh, I'm going to have to probably just take this downstairs and wipe it down really good, see if I can get that off. But um, there's a slight. I'm going to bring this over here so I can show you guys. There is a slight little mark right there. You can see where the sticker was sitting. Um, let me see if I can get that off. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about the, the grips here kind of being loose, but, but we're going to go ahead, we're going to unscrew the pommel and we'll go ahead and we'll insert the batteries and then we're going to go take a look at this in the dark like we normally do. All right, we got the batteries in. Let's fire her up. It'll be perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll light it up in the dark here. the video we'll go get a blue and we'll put them side by side and see what they look like all right so I am uh, in the dark obviously um, and I went ahead and I brought down the uh, Luke Skywalker saber just for comparison um, so let's go ahead and fire this thing up so it's a little muted sound It is definitely a lot louder than the Skywalker Saber. I think so. There's the two colors next to each other. Now holding it next to a blue, you can definitely tell that this is purple. But this is very, very loud. So, pretty cool. I, I dig. Alright, well, uh, fire this thing back up. We'll take one more look at it. Try to find the switch. Alright. I'll probably have to mute it. Uh, talk a little louder so you guys can hear me, but. Wow, this is definitely my new favorite lightsaber, I would have to say, personally. New favorite lightsaber. Definitely worth the wait for it. Uh, make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe because I will be bringing more FX lightsabers to the channel in the near future so stay tuned for that and uh if you guys did like the video again like it up every like counts and um i will see you guys in the next episode see you around peace